What up, dude? What's up? Man? What up? How, are, How you? are you, man? I'm good. Good. I'm pretty good. I was just in the middle of a workout. <laughs> were you? What, what were you working out today? Abs. Abs. <laughs> abs. Yes, sir. That's a good answer. Abs. <laughs> you gotta keep that. Gotta keep that summer body, right? Yes, sir. You know it. So, uh, what's up, man? The new song, What Am I, uh, blowing up everywhere, dude. Yeah, man. It's, Tell us uh, about it. It's been pretty insane just to see. I mean, first of all, for it to just come out, because we've been, you know, keeping this one for a while now. For for a few months, we've had it done and just, like, ready. for Like, we were like, all right, we're going to drop it at the right time. And it's just so yeah. nice to have it go out in the world and see everyone's responses and the videos kind of taken off already. And, like, I don't know. It's, it's really cool. Well, it was it was uh, written by Ed Sheeran, so no no wonder it's so romantic. But I think you guys make it even more romantic when you guys sing it and perform it. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, Ed is just unbelievably talented, and I mean, I don't have to convince anyone of that. That's for sure. He's he's incredible. So, um, but, yeah, I just feel I just feel lucky that he thought of us when he wrote it. You know. Yeah, very nice. We love hearing it. The music video, uh, super romantic, super intense. So that that's that was pretty cool yeah yeah um honestly we just had a ton of fun in la that day and just like in malibu and they filmed it the, the, the director was just basically like what would you guys do if you had this day off and you could do anything with your day and then we were like you know just have a bonfire and hang out and with friends and you know maybe rent a house or something and that's what we did <laughs> oh that's awesome very yeah, cool uh so you got the new song out. Um, can you give us any a new album? Anything new in the future? I mean, we're always we're always working on music. Um, so so we definitely have some some in the bag. We're, we, I don't really know exactly if we'll if we'll if we'll release an album soon. I, I know for sure we've we've been releasing a, a single every single month this year. So that'll that'll stay until December. Dope. A single every month. But what am I is obviously like the single that we're going to be going with to to radio and like I, every i mean it's it's my favorite song probably that will come out with this this whole year um it's it's just really special very cool i'm at the radio station right now i don't know if you can you can see it but uh yeah, i did the yeah. night show here and i'm playing your song i believe i think it's like either in the nine or ten o'clock hour tonight i'm gonna be playing it so. amazing thank you bro i appreciate it so, you so uh, your fans here. I know we've your hung fans out here before. in Houston. I know we've hung out before, right? You you hosted some some events, right? I, Dude, me uh, we we go way back. We've hung each other like three times. Um, and you guys will always have a, a place. Something, right? Like yeah. Uh, it was actually after Hurricane Harvey that we're we're, we're about to, to be right. the two year anniversary of that. Yeah, and well, you guys came to Houston. We all made sandwiches and stuff. That was that was amazing. yes. So, I think Houston will always have a special place. In our hearts for you guys because that was pretty that was pretty awesome what you guys did. Yeah, man, uh, that was one of my favorite things we've ever done. Like with any radio station ever, it was I could see how much it meant to those those people who we were with and um, felt really good. Felt really good. Felt yeah, good. and we did uh, your book signing right before Christmas time. The yep. Memorial City Mall was packed and screaming. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. So, uh, what's going on in your life? What, what about you? What you got? You got anything uh, new? Anything exciting happening? Well, uh, Corbin and I just got a house in LA. Uh, what? Right before we left for this tour, so we literally moved in like two days before we left for tour. So I'm like really excited actually to get back to LA and like kind of unpack and set the place up and you know make it more. Home. I was gonna say my follow up. Do you think that's a good idea? You and Corbin to get a, your own place together. <laughs> Well, we have Eben who opens for the shows, also as a roommate. So I think he'll kind of keep us in check a little bit. I think I think it'll be good. It'll be fun. Some wild parties gonna be happening know. out there. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe once once in a once in a while. I'm not sure. Do you guys have any pets? Um, no, not in LA. I have a dog back home in Minnesota, like my my parents do, but I don't see him very often anymore. That's right. I just saw you guys. You guys did a fair in Minnesota, your home state, and yeah, that meant that was, something to you. That was incredible. That was, uh, I mean, for me, I, I actually worked at that fair growing up. I was like the ice boy there, so I would, I would deliver the ice around the fair. So, I don't know. It was pretty crazy to be back there in such a different, uh, in such a different way. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be pretty, pretty exciting, pretty humbling experience for you. 
yeah, I got to go back to eat all my favorite fried foods and all that stuff. It was it was awesome. What's your favorite fried food at the fair? Oh my god, uh, that's hard. I really fried love, Oreos. I love Twinkies. Them. They have some amazing fried pickles, and I know that fried pickles. Some people don't <laughs> like them, but they're great. They're so good. Um, I also they, they have these mini donuts called Tom Thumb mini donuts that like are my favorite things in the whole world. There's this place called Big Fat Bacon that is pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know. There, I I could talk about it for for hours. <laughs> we we got to get you guys uh, here in Houston, the, uh, the biggest rodeo in the world. It's called Rodeo Houston. Goes underway no. in March. Oh my God! I know. <clears throat> we did the we did the rodeo in uh, in San Antonio this past Christmas or when was it? I think it was January or February. And everyone yeah. there was saying, okay, you think this is big. The Houston one's <laughs> yeah. like five times as big. So, man, yeah. That'd be, that'd so, be we got to cool. get you guys there to do that. I'm down. Count me in. I mean, I'll, I'll talk to some people about it. They right. Like here, they, they do like the, the fried foods and like the exotic foods. They do like last year, they had a pizza with a scorpion on it. And like, whoa. Like, yeah, hot Cheeto, like butter. It's, there's some weird stuff. Okay. All right. That's intense. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your what are your plans for the rest of the night? You gonna go finish that workout and then? Uh... Yeah, um, I mean today's a day off, so sometimes I mean like today I've literally just laid around all day because I don't have to do anything. And I was like, all right, I have to like get up and like work out or something. So um, I think I might maybe try to go see a movie. I don't know. We'll see. We'll. we'll see uh, you guys, happens. you're about to open up that tour overseas in a couple what weeks or a month or so? Yeah, uh, October. At the beginning of October. Yeah, coming up here in the fall. We're going to uh, Europe, and then in November, we'll be in Asia and Australia. And wow. I think even New Zealand, maybe. Yeah, New Zealand, too. We have fans all over. Like, when I, when I tweeted about this, and then on this Instagram Live now, people were from, like, Italy, Afghanistan, it's Ireland. Amazing. Yeah. Like, it's they, crazy. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's it's a whole i mean it's amazing to be in the states because this is like where we're from and it's like probably like the most amount of people are coming out here and stuff like it's pretty crazy but then to go to a place that you've never been to before like super exotic place like singapore or or uh tokyo or something like that and and actually have people like show up at the airports and like that's come nuts to the shows and stuff it, it's it's an insane feeling for sure and Wow. Yeah, but you know the fans just go so hard. It's amazing. I mean, geez, when I leave Houston, nobody even knows who I am. So it's like <laughs> I'm just happy that some people in Houston know that I, who I am. I couldn't imagine all over the world. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. It, it's a uh, you know feel blessed for sure. So uh, I'm gonna give you. Let's give you like uh, like 15, 30 seconds. Your fans on this Instagram live. Uh, what do you want to say to them? That everybody's watching. All right. Um... Thank you guys. We can take as long as you want to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for always just going as hard as y'all do and, and for getting us to where we're at. I mean, this is, this only works because of you guys and a couple, I mean, we're like two, two and a half years into this whole journey now. And um, I don't know. It's just, I feel so lucky to be able to go on stage every night and, sing to y'all and see you guys in person and you guys are all so sweet and it just it means the world that you guys exist and you know go as hard as you do i was literally walking around cleveland today like downtown cleveland and on like four different light poles like these type of things power poles or whatever yeah i, yeah, saw, yeah. I saw like what am i posters they were like go stream what am i and like like how are how do they just do that they just they're, it's amazing so thank you guys for everything i love y'all and uh yeah you make me happy all right well uh i could be Jonah, having the worst we... day i could be having the worst day and then i'll just go on twitter and like see some tweets or go on instagram or whatever and they they're at my day is going better you know i don't know they, i think i think you you saying that i think just makes their day like <laughs> i mean I don't. I don't think you know how much what you just said. How much that makes them happy and like your fans happy, and so well, you guys have always I been great. It goes around and says they make me right. happy, and yeah, that's amazing. Well, we can't wait to have you back in in H Town in Houston. Uh, we've hung out three or four times, and 
I'm sure yeah, we'll uh, be back. We've had a blast we'll be back. every time. So hey, Thanks for playing the record, man. I really appreciate it. Not a problem, man. Uh, Jonah, why don't we, on our IG Live, thanks for hanging out, man. Absolutely. All right. Peace Have out. a good one.